a number of nations began launching satellites in the 1960s to study cosmic phenomena in the gamma ray, X-ray, ultraviolet, visible and infrared spectrum in an effort to explore the universe and get new knowledge of the world beyond. More recently, space-based radio astronomy has been pursued. The research results of these space explorations have made significant contributions to our understanding of the origin, evolution, and likely future of the universe, galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. And more recently, NASA has announced a lot of bizarre new discoveries that no one can explain. What are these discoveries, and how do they impact us? Stick around to the end of the video as we explore all these and more. First thing we're going to look at is WASP-76b, and how it's hot enough to ionize your bones. The fact that our solar system is mundane is one of the most fascinating things we've learned from the discovery of exoplanets, which are like alien worlds orbiting other stars. The very first confirmed planets rotated around a pulsar, the living remnant of a massive star that had gone supernova long ago. Hot Jupiters, gigantic gas giants like our own, were the first planets discovered around regular stars like the Sun. Because of their close orbits to their host stars, these hot Jupiters are hotter than Mercury, and amongst them was WASP-76b, an absolute scorcher. The planet's discovery was made public for the first time in 2016 thanks to the Wide Angle Search for Planets WASP observatories, a network of wide-angle cameras that scan the night sky in search of telltale brightness dips caused by an orbiting planet occasionally crossing in front of the star. About 640 light years away from Earth, WASP-76 is a star that is 500 degrees hotter and 50% more massive than the Sun. WASP-76b is a planet that is only around 90% as massive as Jupiter, but 1.8 times wider. This suggests that it has expanded and expanded as a result of the star's heat. This is due to the fact that WASP-76b's orbit is only 1.8 Earth days long, which is very short, and it indicates that it orbits the star only about 4 million kilometers above its surface. Even Mercury stays about 10 times farther from the Sun than that. That's why WASP-76b is called an ultra-hot Jupiter. Its night side is estimated to be 2,370 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equal to 1,300 degrees Celsius, and its day side is estimated to be roughly 4,350 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,400 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to vaporize various metals. Scientists believe that winds carry vaporized iron from the exoplanet's day side to its cooler night side, where it condenses and rains down as molten iron. However, current research indicates that WASP-76b is likely even more extreme than prior investigations have suggested. Ionized calcium, an electrically charged form of the metal, was discovered in the exoplanet's upper atmosphere by a team of scientists using the Gemini North Telescope, located close to the top of Hawaii's Mauna Kea volcano. Emily Diepert, a doctoral student from the University of Toronto, is lead authority of a study reporting the new WASP-76b results, which was published online on October 5, 2021. The new research, which makes no conclusions about how much hotter WASP-76b's temperatures might be, serves as further proof that the Milky Way galaxy is a remarkably diversified space, home to a wide array of unusual planets. Astronomers have recently begun to appreciate this planetary panoply but there will undoubtedly be many more surprises as we look further and closer into space. If you think that's strange, wait till you discover what goes on on a planet known as PSR J1719-1438. The PSR J1719-1438 is one of the most amazing celestial phenomena you will likely ever see. So what makes it so special? Well, to start with, 1438 is a neutron star. A neutron star is a stellar object that is both astonishingly enormous and small. Despite having at least 1.4 times the mass of our Sun, pulsars are typically only 20 kilometers or 12 miles across. In essence, they are stars the size of little cities. And a large mass plus a small size equals an extremely high density. One teaspoon of the stellar material from neutron stars would weigh roughly 1 billion tons on Earth due to their extreme density. Secondly, 1438 is a pulsar. Simply put, pulsars are neutron stars that release radiation beams that travel through the line of sight of Earth. This happens as a result of the magnetic fields of neutron stars, which are extremely strong, approximately a trillion times greater than Earth's own field. 
However, the spinning axis of the neutron star is not parallel to the magnetic field's axis. The star begins to tremble as a result, and we can measure the speed of the object's rotation by watching the pulsar's beam pass in front of our eyes at regular intervals. As it turns out, pulsars spin amazingly fast, and most pulsars have rotational periods of mere seconds. Another amazing thing is that 1438b has a mass that is nearly the same as Jupiter's, but it is only 40% the size of the planet. So how did it get to be so small and so massive at the same time? Well, scientists believe that 1438b is the remnant of a star whose outer layers were siphoned off by the more massive pulsar. The pulsar stripped away the planet's outer layers, but it left behind a residue that is mainly made of carbon. In the end, this means that 1438b is an extraterrestrial planet that is essentially a diamond. A diamond that is about five times larger than Earth. Oddly enough, this also implies that the planet is bigger than the Sun. Another incredible discovery was made in 2018 when astronomers using the NASA slash ESA Hubble Space Telescope discovered a new dwarf galaxy, Bedin 1, in our cosmic neighborhood. Dwarf spheroidal galaxies are defined by their small size, low luminosity, lack of dust, and old stellar populations. There are now 36 galaxies of this sort in the local group, 22 of which are Milky Way satellite galaxies. While dwarf spheroidal galaxies are not uncommon, Bedin 1 has certain unique characteristics. It is not just one of the few dwarf spheroidals with a well-established distance, but also one of the most remote. It is located approximately 30 million light-years away from the Milky Way and 2 million light-years away from NGC 7644, the nearest possible host for a massive galaxy. As a result, Bedin 1 might be the most remote tiny dwarf galaxy ever to be found. Moving further, radio astronomer Anna Kapinska discovered something in 2019, and this object was so strange, she named it Object WTF. Anna Kapinska presented a presentation in September 2019, showcasing intriguing objects she had discovered while looking through new radio astronomy data. She had begun to notice incredibly bizarre shapes that didn't readily match any of the objects she was familiar with. A picture of a ghostly radio emission circle hanging out in space like a cosmic smoke ring was one of them, labeled WTF by Anna. None of her co-workers had ever witnessed anything like it, and they were uncertain of its nature. A few days later, one of her co-workers, Emil Link, discovered a second one that was much weirder than Anna's. Anna and Emil had been looking over the new images from CSIRO's revolutionary New Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. ASKAP Telescope's Pilot Observation for the Evolutionary Map of the Universe EMU, project. EMU aspires to bravely explore areas of the universe that have never been explored by a telescope. It can do this because ASKAP has the ability to quickly survey enormous parts of the sky, probe to a depth that was previously only possible in relatively small regions of sky, and is especially sensitive to faint, diffuse objects like these. The team doesn't yet know what these objects are, but they certainly know what they are not. For one, they're definitely not supernova remnants because they are far from most of the stars in the Milky Way, and there are too many of them. Could they be the radio emission rings seen in galaxies undergoing intense star formation bursts? That's another no, because there is no underlying galaxy that could host star formation. Could they be the massive lobes of radio emissions seen in radio galaxies? caused by electron jets squirting out from the outskirts of a supermassive black hole? Not likely, because the ORCs are clearly circular, as opposed to the tangled clouds seen in radio galaxies. With the James Webb Telescope and the Hubble Telescope now operational, maybe we will eventually find out what these object WTFs are. What do you think about these bizarre discoveries? Let us know down in the comment section.